Hey, it's Matt with um, Elements Mountain Company uh, here with our Mountain Minutes video series. This is the final episode in our uh, uh, Snow Removal Essentials, kind of our, our partnership that we have together and how we need to work together to provide the best snow removal. Um, what we're going to talk about today is your role in the snow removal partnership and what you need to do to keep your driveway clear. So what we do is we clear your driveway um, with our equipment when we receive three to four inches of natural snowfall. Um, and throughout the season, um, you know, that's going to mean that we're going to clear probably 95 to 98 percent of the snow out of your driveway over a winter time. Um, our goal is, is to get within six to 12 inches of all snow poles and about 12 to 18 inches away from vehicles, houses, and other um, obstacles in your driveway. Um, so that's what we do. So this is what we're asking you to do. Uh, so you're going to need to clear snow from your driveway when we receive less than our three to four inch trigger depth that, that activates our service. And, and in the Sierra, that happens a lot. We get a half inch snowstorm. We get one inch of, of snow and it doesn't snow anymore. And, and we don't clear um, that snow because it, it's just something that doesn't trigger our service. And so you are responsible for clearing that. Um, and in this particular case right here, this is a great illustration. We can see that there's about a half inch of fresh snow um, on the right hand side. And the owner over here has taken the liberty of, of clearing the left hand side on their own accord. This is a steep driveway, so that helps them gain traction. Uh, but that's just, you know, kind of reality up in, in the snow removal environment. Um, the next thing you're going to need to do is clear the snow from in front of your garbage can enclosure here. Um, in this particular case, uh, that has been cleared. And so the, uh, the trash collection service can actually open this door and access the, uh, the garbage here. If we were going through a heavier snow period and um, snow was up um, impeding the, uh, the opening of the, uh, the door, the trash collection service isn't going to collect your trash here. So that's a role that you need to take care of. In, in all, at all cases, the garbage can enclosure is outside of the snow stakes. Um, and so you're going to need to clear that small distance of snow um, between your driveway and the garbage can enclosure to allow trash collection to access your garbage. Um, now the next thing that you're going to need to do is um, clear snow from in front of your garage door. So our tractors can get within like 12 to 18 inches of your garage door. Uh, but you see in this particular case on the right hand side, um, there's a little bit of snow that was left. That's, that's what we couldn't clear as we're clearing this driveway. On the left hand side of the driveway here, this owner um, has cleared that snow out, presumably because they're using the left hand side for access to their car. So. Great illustration, great effort by the homeowner to keep that left-hand side clear. The other thing that you're going to need to do is um, clear the walkway. Um, so generally, uh, a walkway into your house is, is a small swath of, of paved asphalt that's too small for our tractors to get into. And so, you know, just a quick shoveling of that small area is going to allow access into your house. Um, one more thing is um, over the course of the winter, um, driveways uh, can get icy, um, especially based uh, if, if they have, uh, um, you know, kind of a shady uh, orientation or they don't get a lot of sun. And um, even though our tractors um, attempt to scrape down as much um, snow and ice as possible, sometimes there is ice left on the surface of uh, the driveway. So, um, you know, snow melt, um, getting out, scraping that down when it softens up uh, and it's in the sunshine, sunshine is going to help uh, uh, you make your driveway a little bit more accessible and less slippery. And that is something that we need your help on as well, too. The final thing that you're going to need to do um, periodically is um, you're going to need to shovel the berm. Um, we, uh, we try to work as closely as we can with the town of Truckee but uh, sometimes their schedule is different than ours. And so there could be a short period of time uh, when the town goes down the, uh, the road and pushes up uh, snow from the road um, in front of the mouth of your driveway and creates this impassable berm. And, um, and you're just gonna need to handle that until we get back and clear the berm out. So you know what I suggest is just clearing a small section of the berm, large enough to get your car in, uh, but that is something that you're going to do to maintain access in the wintertime. It's just a fact of life that, you know, the, the town is out clearing the roads and, and that's their mandate is, is to keep the roads safe and passable. Um, and at times that means that they're going to push up a, a mound of snow uh, right at the mouth of your driveway and um, you're going to need to take care of that yourself. 
So I'd like to talk about um, some of the, uh, the tools that you can use for this. Um, obviously, uh, a good grain scoop, uh, grain scoop shovel. Um, that's a shovel that is, is designed for um, scooping and lifting and moving. Um, it's kind of your, your go-to shovel. Um, I really like the, uh, uh, there's a model called the Tuffy. It's made by a company called PolyPro Tools and it's available down at uh, Mountain Hardware. Retails for about $40. Um, the reason I like this shovel is it's a one piece um, rigid, um, you know, kind of a, a plastic. It's, it doesn't break like some of these other two piece uh, wood handled um, uh, brittle um, uh, shovel surface uh, shovels that are out there. Um, and then um, another uh, type of shovel that you can use is more of a, a scraper or a pusher shovel. Um, and that's, you know, when you have a half inch of snow on your driveway and, and you just want to push that out of the way, um, there's a, a brand of shovel called the uh, Yuhu, Y-O-H-O, um, and they make a, uh, a, a shovel called the... Uh, um, Polar Tough, and that's a great one to use on your decks when you have a little bit of snow, um, and then also to scrape down a half inch of snow from your driveway. Lastly, um, and, and this is a huge luxury item, but something that you should consider is buying a snow blower. Um, the gold standard in snow blowers are the Honda snow blowers. Um, those retail for $2,500 to $3,000, they're very expensive. Um, but uh, both Sears and Mountain Hardware sell less expensive um, snow blowers. Um, Sears actually has one that I think retails for about eight forty nine dollars from Husqvarna, so um, you know a, a pretty reputable brand. Um, but um, having your own snow blower just means that you can take your winter access to your house and, and you can you, you can make that your own destiny. You you, you can automate the process of, of clearing snow when you have to because we all know that you know we go through epic snowstorms up here and and even though your driveway may get cleared once or twice um, having a snow blower um, is is a great luxury item and it gives you a lot of freedom um, to control um, your access into and out of your house um, so um, that's uh, again we talk a lot about this partnership that uh, that exists in snow removal between us your snow removal provider the town of Truckee clearing the roads and um, and you and if we all work together and we just know that um, in the winter time um, you know we all have to put in a little bit of elbow grease um, and uh, a little bit of work um, but um, we can maintain access even in the heaviest snowstorms um, I think that's it um, so uh, thanks for watching um, and uh, I guess uh, that's a wrap for today out <laughs>